Yo, 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 Big Baby JTV, man. Start off with a like, comment, subscribe, man. Let's start off with a like, comment, subscribe. And uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it. We're talking about DJ Academics on Million Dollars Worth of Game, right? Shouts out to Gillian Wallow. You know, shouts out to DJ Academics. As you guys know, half of the reason I created this channel is because I was inspired by DJ Academics. But I'm not a blind a fan or a you know what I'm saying a D writer. I'm not a stan. I'm not under that. I like being neutral. I like giving the middle way. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people might not like this channel, okay? But a lot of people might also love this channel. Why? Because I'm not necessarily biased. And if I am biased, I'll admit to it. And for the most part, I'm gonna give the middle way. And that's how I felt about this conversation between Gilly Wallow and act so what happened gilly wallow and act were talking on the podcast million dollars worth of game great podcast where they debated certain things and a lot of things but the mo- the biggest highlight really was when wallow called in my son right who had smoke for academics for the past year or so right now if you don't know my son he's a legendary I- i'll say no not make famous new york rapper you know, from the early 2000s that went to jail for street business, right? And eventually uh, was, uh, you know, came out of jail, uh, I think about three years ago and changed his life around. Now he's more so of an activist slash rapper activist, right? And I actually really rock with my son. I rock with his message, trying to, you know, essentially reverse back this, you know, the, the engineering and social programming that black men got to be street dudes in order to be respected. And uh, he's very much into the Black Lives Matter, Tamika Mallory, that type of scene, activist scene, right? Now, as some of y'all know who are on my Patreon, get on my Patreon, by the way, link in bio. I'm not a big fan of Black Lives Matter, bro. I'm not a big fan of Black Lives Matter because there's a lot of hypocrisy in that faction. But nevertheless, back to the main point. I still respect my son for what he says and what he's trying to do in the community, right? Now, basically, my son and academic have a beef, right? And the real root of the beef is that academic talks very greasy and has done a lot of negative things to the black community, right? Especially with his war in Chirac, especially his coverage of street rappers and all these things. Now, for me, I'm just going to say like this. I think my son is a hypocrite for that. I think my son is a hypocrite for that. If you're going to go in on DJ Academics, right, and his tone and how he covers hip hop news and media in Chicago and all these things, right? Let's keep in mind, DJ Academics stopped covering the war in Chirac damn near five years ago. Damn near five years ago, he stopped covering them, right? Now, let's go to step two. Step two. If you have all that smoke for academics, where's the smoke for the record labels? Where's the smoke to these record labels who regularly sign street rappers, right? Dudes who are active criminals. Like these guys are not just rappers. No, they are active criminals who rap on the side. Now, look, I'm not saying that if you won't have to get money and get money is through the streets. And that's the only way, you know, then I have I'll be honest with you. I don't have a major problem with that. Why? Because you have to survive. And if you're in the streets, most people in the streets are doing it for survive, just for survival. They're not doing this for recreation. A lot of dudes in the streets want to get out of the streets. 100%, right? But if you reach a certain level and a threshold, it's not only dumb to be in the streets, it's actually going to get you killed or get you put in jail. We've seen multiple examples of this. Right. Recently, rest in peace, Slim 400. I'm not I don't know exactly what the details is. He was in Englewood. Right. Not necessarily his hood, but it is a ghetto. You know what I'm saying? It is the block. Right. Most recently with Young Dolph. Right. He went back to Memphis to his old block. Right. When you reach a certain level, the streets don't make sense. But why are all these record labels constantly signing street dudes, constantly pushing street dudes, constantly pushing active criminals into the rap game. Why? Why? 
I'll tell you why. They have more responsibility for black kids and dudes in the streets, black men getting killed, more than academics. Why do they do this? Because they want to sell. Because the audience is more attracted to that. Because the audience is going to listen to that more. The audience is going to spend money on that more. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Okay? So when my son has all this smoke for academics, where's the smoke for Sony? Where's the smoke to Warner Brothers? Where's the smoke for Universal? Oh, oh no, it's all good when the white corporations do it. But when a, uh, but let's be honest, academics is very influential, but he's a small fish in the pond. Academics is worth about $10 million, right? In totality. Universal Music Group is worth close to $3 billion. Hmm? And y'all ain't trying to go after them. Really? Really? Now, academics, he also has a part to play in this too. He had all this smoke and all this tough talk from my son, right? All this tough talk from my son over a phone. But when other people have confronted him in person, namely Vic Mensa, on everyday struggle a few years ago he was very quiet he was very humble he was not talking in the bravado and the type of attitude that he was talking to my son and i promise you if my son was in front of his face he would not talk like that you know dj academics was very humble and meek when meek mill was on his head top on clubhouse right now what is happening now I know what's happening. DJ Academics has gained a lot of wealth. DJ Academics has become very rich and he's gained a lot of clout. So he feels essentially big and tough. Now, his argument was, I'm standing up for myself as a man. Hey, if you're standing up for yourself as a man, I respect it. I have no problem with that. But would you have the same smoke for my son or the same attitude in person? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, because we've seen this happen before. We've seen this. We've seen Migos trying to step up to Joe Button and DJ Academics is over there looking like a shrimp, like a shrimp, like a shrimp. He deserved to be inside a sushi roll. Now, look, does he have to be a tough guy? Absolutely not, because that's not who he really is. Right. He's more. He's a civilian. Right. And that's okay. And that's okay. The thing is, he does talk very tough and very greasy, especially on the Internet, on social media platforms. On Twitch, he was going after Rory and Maul. I doubt that he would buck up and even square up in front of Rory and Maul. I doubt that very, very much. I think my son would buck up and step up to academics if they were face to face. That's just how I feel. Right. But regardless, irregardless academics points are valid why y'all going after him when he major labels are doing this they're doing worse than him way worse right why do you say black lives matter so much and then when all these rappers get shot and killed you guys are not necessarily addressing the problem because these rappers have bigger influence on these kids more than any black lives matter organization does right so for me i'm saying hey out of this whole beef with my son and uh academics you know gilly the kid and wallow grilling them i do respect academics for standing up for himself i do respect that but i wish that he had more of the smoke in person right not all phone calls not over the internet not over podcast airwaves i do wish that some of these older heads like my son gilly the kid wallow would give more smoke to these major record labels before they would give smoke to DJ Academics was a small fish in the big pond that is hip hop music, right? And I wish that we can do better as a culture, man. A lot of rappers are dying. A lot of people in the streets are dying, right? People used to talk about the war in Chirac. There's a war in Jacksonville right now. There's a war in New York, especially between the GDs and the Woos, right? People don't want to talk about that. There's even wars in Ottawa between freaking teenagers and and literally just teenagers, literally, from the West, Bayshore area. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Sad. It's sad. And music has a major play in this. And we need to acknowledge that, man. This is a longer video, man. I just had to say it. 
because this really hit me and for me I, I respect that but sometimes he's completely wrong he talks crazy i respect wallow gilly and my son but sometimes they're pure hypocrites let me know what y'all think in the comments below man big baby jtv like comment sub and i'm out bro